chances that one same size. 100%. My gosh, that's a thousand degrees. Woohoo! Son of a. Okay, that's hot too. Holy Moses! I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change. Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I think it's pretty obvious by now, we're doing lights on Wallace the 66. We've got to try to fit a rectangle peg in that hole. Oh boy, this is going to be awesome. Going to have to try to bend that back into shape uh, at least close. Wish me luck. That one shouldn't be bad. That one, oh my gosh. All right, since I'm going for body work perfection on this, no, no we're not. Keeping the sweet patina that's on this thing, I do need to get that angled back so it points right, the headlight needs to point the right direction, that sort of thing. I think I'm just gonna use a big like digging bar down in there, because I have one. Why not use what you have? And just kind of pry, and I'm gonna pry against this right here. That seems to be a pretty strong point. And just kind of tweak that and see if I can get that to bend back out. And probably again from this angle, being careful around my electrical. Don't wanna cause myself any undue harm. There's a baby diaper pin thing on that. I'll bet somebody stuck that on there as a reminder about what that thing goes to. What what the heck is that? What does that go to? Oh no. There's stuff back here, but I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to figure out what that thing is. Cool. Finding all sorts of cool stuff. Let's get a big bar and see if we can bend the crap out of that. Let's get that out of the way. And then we can really crank on that if we need to. This is a good start. Fun stuff. As always, using my AIM penetrating lubricant on the back side of this rusty bolt. Just a little bit. Let that soak for a minute while I get my wrench. I believe it's a 3 8 It sure is. Rust is no issue. For aim penetrating lubricant. I'll tell you that. This stuff is amazing. You really do need to try it out. Link down below. It's an affiliate link, by the way. <laughs> it's bent so much it's stuck in it. Right, I'm gonna have to bend it to get it out. See? Big old bar. I'm gonna open up this little space down here. That is where he took a whammy, that's for sure. Okay. Got 
him out of the way. Let's do this. What all needs to bend? Gonna whack Midnight Maroon in the windshield. Luckily, it's already in need of a windshield. My fear level went down a factor. Well, that's already closer than it was, that's for sure. Can I bend? Come on now. Well, that's already a thousand times better than it was. I don't know what shape that's supposed to be in. Oh, that's supposed to face straight down. Really? Oh wow. Okay. Uh, I see what's happening here. I see what's happening here. Maybe you can tell a difference in the before and after. I don't know. When I get this back on there, we'll be able to tell for sure because it was actually pointing down before. I think, you know what, that is probably good enough. I'm going to take this beauty ring off of there, get that lens out, take the bulb out. I think there's actually one in there that works. The wiring on this actually looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it's chewed or anything. It's still fairly pliable which is a good thing uh, i may have to chase some of them and i know in the back it's not working so i'm gonna have to do some work back there but i gotta get all the lights working so i'm street legal turn signals work that sort of thing uh check all my grounds that sort of thing gremlins in wiring is generally ground related or dirty contacts especially in these old rigs so when you look down in there, those contacts actually look super clean. They're kind of shiny, copper colored. They look pretty good. But the barrel receptacle is kind of corroded. So I may have to scrape in there and so I can get a good ground on the new bulb. But let's keep pressing forward. I'm gonna finish up the turn signals on the front and test those first. I should be able to test the front whether the back's working or not. here with our wiring and we've got a good inch to go I gotta get after that Woo! I decided to get this out of harm's way it's just a dual plug there I'll also be able to test this now that I have it off and uh, see if that'll work this is pinched pretty tight in the back and it may have cut those wires inside of there I did get a new tool from Amazon. Let's see what this is. Pretty sure I know what it is and it's gonna help us with this project. 
Yep, exactly. Wire strippers. They're basically wire crimper strippers. Super easy to use. I've wanted one of these for a long time. Link down below to this exact one, and I'll give you a quick review after I've tried this out. But I'm excited. Had good reviews, so here's high hopes. Wire cutter. And then the strippers up here at the top. Oh, isn't that just freaking handy? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's the coolest thing ever. I All my wildest dreams are coming true. All right, I'm going to take about, oh, mm, yep, mm -hmm, this far. Wire cutter. Mm -hmm. Wire stripper. Mm-hmm. I might just sit here and play with this all day. That is actually freaking awesome. And it's consistent. Cuts off exactly the right amount every time of the shielding. The reason we're over here, we're going to test the light and the electrical on this battery. I know this battery is good. It just came off the charger. That's why we're kind of standing over in kind of a weird place right now. While I test this wire stripper out. Freaking cool. Just saying. Let's see, I want these to be roughly the same length. Mm -hmm. About like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. When in a pinch, vice grips. Let's make sure I put red to positive. Yep. There we go. That one is live. No touchy. Stay. Black is in negative. Negative. Let's get a positive ground going. That's about as positive as I care to do. Lights. Hey, lights. Nice. So this is dim. This is bright. So this is blinker. You know what, though? That just means I'm not grounded. Well, <laughs> Or something's wrong farther back than here. Good times, good times. To the truck, and we'll troubleshoot from there. Resorting to the electrical digital meter thingy. Set it to 20 volts, and we're gonna turn the blinker on and then test this out. See, digitals right here. Positive to one of those and ground. Where's the ground? There's a ground, but it's not doing anything. Maybe I didn't have a good contact, good ground. Where's my good ground? Negative battery terminal, that'll do it. Yep, so it's sending a signal for the turn signal. This one should be park lights. Yep, that one is full on lit up. So I just don't have a good ground to where that's mounted. Okay, well, it works, so that's a good thing. Beep. Run some electrical tape around that. Uh, it's not. Uh, absolutely perfect but it will do for what we got going on here I also ran the wire wheel across uh, the bolt that holds it in place and got basically dug through my stockpile and found a new washer and lock nut get that to focus yep so that'll fit on there and because it's clean metal uh, I'll, I'm gonna scrape the backside of where it mounts on the truck as well See if we can get a good mount there, and then uh, a good ground. See if we can get a flash going out of that. Next steps. The chances that the same size, 100%. My gosh, that's a thousand degrees. Woohoo! 
Woo, son of a... Okay, that's hot too. Holy Moses. Good thing it's not hot out here or something. Jeez. That wrench is 400 degrees. Alright, we gotta move stuff to the shade. Yeah! Oh my gosh. Let's get stuff out of the, out of the sun. Woo! Set them in the sun. Ah, that's perfect. Three eighths. Here we go. Ready tight. Well, let's test it. I, that doesn't fit right. We have to fix that. I'm trying to be in a hurry, and that's not working out for me. Let's see if we can get that to flash. Then, at least. That should be driving lights. Still nothing. Oh, I haven't plugged it in. <laughs> oh, that's good times right there. Hey, check that out. If you can see it, that's on. Let's try blink it. Hey, we have blinkers. Check. Freaking amazing. All right, well, I'm not going to bore you with the details. Basically, I got to just bend the crap out of that till it fits right. Um, I'm going to do that. Check back in with you guys in a minute. So I'm having trouble getting the gasket on this thing to stay out at the edge while I put it on. So I'm going to just try some rubber cement on it in just a couple spots just to hold it in place till I can get it on the truck. So and try that see if it works so this is where my grandma would say a little dab will do you so I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and just touch a couple of these spots across here and let that kind of start tacking up flip it around and do the same thing on this other side Wow, that is sticky stuff. I guess it's going to work. Alright, give that just a second to tack up. And I'm probably too impatient and going to do this sooner than I should. So far, so good. Let's try this other side. All right, let that dry up for just a little while. Maybe while I'm at it, do this other side. We're gonna have the same problem with him too, because you can tell because of how it is. That's neat. Well, that worked out pretty good, actually. works too I didn't even notice that until just now so testing out the driver's side that one works just fine and then I just happened to peek over here even with the cracked lens and the original bulb that one is now working so apparently fixing the one ground may have re helped resolve this side as well I'm sure that side needs a ground as well but we're gonna Take that apart and put a new lens and a new bulb in it anyway, just so that they match in brightness and all the things. So, passenger side next.
What's the earthquake check? Stay on. Let's try the blinker. <laughs> so just an uncut version. The parking lights are on. See, parking lights are on and the right turn signal, so passenger side is flashing in the front. Let's walk back here to the back. We have a flasher. It doesn't look like the park light stays on in this one though. So that's interesting. And the park light is not on on this one as well. So I still do have some wiring issues here to the back it looks like. But I believe that this flasher works. Let's switch it to left turn. We got a flashing light on the dash. We got turn signals, people. I'm still gonna tear the back apart and just see what's going on. I've got new bulbs to put in there. Front flasher works as well. So I have parking lights in the back I gotta fix before I can drive at night because I'd have zero lights out the back until I tap on the brake or turn on a turn signal. So I guess I could always drive around with my flashers on. Cool. While we're up here at the front, let's get that headlight squared away so that we can replace that bulb. I still need to run get some bulbs for that, but let's get it ready. Yummy. There's a chunk of the glass from the other headlight as well. So did that one. I'm gonna have to bend that back into shape, it looks like. This wiring does not look the best. I'll bet I can clean out the insides and have it work just fine. Cool. 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 So I just down, ran down to the O'Reilly's, picked up some really basic headlights. Uh, they even say basic on them. What kind of miracle do I need to just plug those in and have them work? Any bets? Any takers? I haven't even cleaned the contacts on those. I think I'm just gonna plug them in. See what happens. Where's the dude at? Oh boy. We'll just use this one. Sit down so I don't drop it. That's stupid. nothing. See something. Holy crap. Look at that. Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to do the high beams on this bad boy. Button on the floor, I'm guessing. Something happened. Oh yeah. How easy is that? Well, let's put this together.
<laughs> oh yeah. Try this out again now that it's done done. What the? I don't think that's supposed to happen. Aren't those supposed to stay on when the headlights are on? Well, maybe that's a feature. Somebody comment down below. Are the parking lights supposed to stay on when the headlights are on? I have no idea. I thought they did. I don't know. Comment down below, let me know. Alrighty then. Wow, that's chewy in there. Mm. Yummy. See what I'm dealing with here? Oh boy. Okay. I need something to get that out of there actually. It won't go in and turn at the same time. All right, need a little more room to get some leverage here. <sighs> so close. There it goes. Whew. All right, let's try out the park light. Nothing. This is not super surprising because I've seen the wiring underneath the truck. Well, I can daytime drive. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Not gonna lie, that's cool. I like it. Before and after. Should have done some before and after, but there you go. Pretty cool. I was going to try to bend that a little bit, but it's part of the features of Wallace. One more side, real quick. It's starting to get dark. I got to hurry. Uh, these are the old lenses. Uh, this left hand rear is actually still in really good condition. It could be buffed up and look brand new if somebody wanted to. Actually says Ford right on it. Both of these do in fact. So I'll probably be selling that at some point. It's original. So it could be worth something. I don't have no idea but I'll look up stuff like that. I've also got the original center caps. I have three of those. Those will be up for sale one of these days as well. Anybody want a light bulb? <laughs> no, nobody wants a light bulb. Not like that. But man, that looks good. I cannot wait to start really driving this, this thing. When I ran to O'Reilly's, they're like, why didn't you bring the truck? And I was like, well, because I was in a hurry and 
Didn't have time for any mishaps. I wanted to get this part of the project done. Still need to fix that wiring and we're gonna be driving this thing. It's insured, it's registered, it is ready. Minus that one park light. Well, it's time to finish up the wiring on Wallace. Uh, this one tail light is the one that's not working. I'm basically just using like trailer wire. You use for trailer lights, that sort of thing. There's four strands. I only need two strands back to this corner. It goes down and underneath, and then it ties in underneath where you guys are sitting. So I've stripped off just two of them. And I'm gonna feed it down in there. I'm gonna cut them and strip them and then connect them just as a proof of concept to make sure that I'm still getting what I need to back here, uh, continuity wise. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna pull a little extra through though just so that I have plenty. I don't know if I'm gonna need more or not. I said I was going to loosely connect it, but you know what? I'm feeling good today, so let's just go for it. We're just going to connect them. At least back here at the light fixture. We'll go from there. When it comes to this stuff, you just have to not be scared and just kind of go for it. We're looking for clean copper. I've seen better. But we're going to make it work. Come on. That one's not so bad. It's definitely going to be better than it was. It wasn't working before. This is going to work. I guarantee it. So now you just have to remember red, so green. My stupid allergies are killing me today. Yellow will go to the darkest one. Heat shrink, baby. There we go. Little tug pole check thing. Yep, passes. Going under the truck. I'm gonna cut and just loosely connect these so we can test these, test this light out. Back in a few. All right, well, that's kind of rigged together down there. I don't know if I've gone far enough back to get to clean copper or not, so this is test number one. Nothing. I wonder if this has to be grounded. Oh, it just needs to be jiggled. Okay, so that's that. Let me. So that's the blinker. Actually, we're out our batteries. All right, so now that I know that that works, I'm gonna disconnect from underneath, mount the light back in there and route my wire up under there, cut it to length.
So I wanted to kind of show you what I got going on here. These are the two wires that I brought from the light fixture in the back. Uh, they came over and I'm in the process of taping them with electrical tape to the bundle uh, that used to be there and I cut out some of the stuff that didn't need to be in there. And I'm just bundling it together so that it all stays uh, tight and clean. Um, it goes through a grommet in the frame back here that you can't see. And then it comes across and I'll tuck that wire in next to the wire that's already there. But I got heat shrink and a compression fitting on each of those joints. And one of those was cracked and I taped it up. It was this yellow one. It was cracked in two different places right there. Uh, so I taped that one individually across that joint and it's the one that goes to this other tail light that was already working. So I know it's still good. I just taped it carefully and now I'm bundling the whole thing together just to give it a little bit more strength. Uh, this is the back side of the trailer hitch thing and it looks like it may have been connected at some point. I think that's what one of these things is. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I just got to get this thing street legal so it can get back on the road. So I'm going to finish taping that and then we'll test the lights one more time. And now it's getting dark so we're going to test these real quick and then I got to go inside. So um, let's, well you're going to see them before I do. Let's do this. That should be parking lights. Oh, got a turn signal on. What happened to this one? In fact, what happened to that one? Neither of them worked. That's ah, perfect. Just kidding. <laughs> I didn't actually turn them on. That's the parking lights. This will be right turn signal. I believe that that was already working from before. And it was, it is. Left turn signal. That's pretty weak if it is working. I see it dimly flashing. Well, I'm going to have to look into that another time. Well, that'll do it for this week's video. I've got that one last little gremlin in that left hand rear turn signal to work out but I'm not too worried about that I'll pull the lens off scope out the colors of the wires look down underneath and just make sure I have a solid connection there not worried about it that's an easy enough fix so I'm gonna close this out so that I can get this edited and uploaded for you guys this is Troy with Troy's garage this is Wallace the 66 that is Midnight Maroon. If you're not subscribed, please do so. Ring that bell for me if you would, that would be fantastic. And check the links down below, the tools, products, affiliate links, that kind of thing helps the channel out. Really appreciate that. Using those affiliate links helps the channel more than you think it does. I really do appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Um, please like if you feel like I've earned it. And that's all. Thanks guys, appreciate it. This is Troy with Troy's Garage. I already said that, but we'll see you guys in the next video.